Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, I got a dishwasher that the uh, door just drops open. And this is a GD, let's see, model number GSD334. 0D 35SA. Alright. Yeah, this is uh, similar to the other dishwasher that I had with the gobstopper that I'm still researching on. So that's a different story or a different dishwasher. But, um, anyway, let's get into this. Uh, pretty easy way to take the bottom panel off, which is where we need to go for this uh, door. Loosen these two top screws. Push a lot. This one's not very tight. Which is okay. And then we need to remove the bottom screws that are on the bottom panel. Right down here. And that gives us access to the bottom. But we need to slide over the Top portion of the bottom shim. So there's we only need to remove those two screws. The other ones we don't need to remove, we just need to slide this panel over to gain access. And we've got our bottom trim and our other piece here. Yeah, let's take a look at this particular style dishwasher door deal. There's a few different styles on this um, for this function. Let me find my flashlight here. And this one's a spring. So here's the spring right here. And oh yeah. So what it's got is different holes that you can set the spring into on each side. And this one seems like maybe that's just too loose. So we need to see if we can set this one back to the further screw post back there. The easiest thing in the world, not the hardest thing in the world. This one is right here. So this one I partly can't see it, but anyway. I'm going to unhook the spring and brought it to the fur a further one. And we can test that out and see. Still kind of drops, drops too heavy. So, try the next one on this side. Got it, got it. Got it. All right. Cool. Let's see. That's much better. Now it kind of springs up and it doesn't drop down quite as heavy. It's still heavy, but not, not quite as much. So we got, let's see if there's another hole back there, but I think that's the furthest setting. So, um, and there may be one on the door side as well, this side I can't see. Nope, and that's the, that's the, that's it. <laughs> All right, anyway, now put this back on. We've got our bottom plate here. And it's easy, just kind of line up the holes and then set your top plate. Top plate just like that, and then you can slide it over. You line up your bottom holes and tighten them on. Insert the screws. And tighten those down. 
That's adjusting the tension on the door. There's a few, definitely a lot of different ways that dishwashers have that adjustment setting. There we go. And now we can tighten the top ones up just a little bit. Alright. And I still got that whole gobstopper thing to figure out. But that's another story for another day. Alright. Thanks for watching. Tofu Maintenance. Over and out. Just adjusting the dishwasher door. Be on the lookout for the rest of the gobstopper story for dishwashers. Hopefully coming sometime in the future. The legend and the research of the dishwasher gobstopper continues. The quest to understand its plan, purpose, and design. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. Gracious and ready to forgive, oh, ready to forgive. small voice in his head saying, Jesus.
Jesus went to the cross for you, man, suffering and shame. Taking the penalty for your sin, taking the blame. He loves you. He loves you.